Professor Sir Michael Sterling, and I used to be a PhD student in the department. It's one of the first ones starting in 1968. I've been in actually twice. I, I, after leaving the Atomic Energy Authority in 73, I was a, a lecturer and senior lecturer until about 85, and then I left to become a professor at Strathclyde University and then a professor at Exeter University in Engineering Science and came back to AXI in 2000. I'm Ian Griffin, I work at Rolls-Royce uh, at the Derby facility working on the uh, large civil aero engines um, but for many years I was a member of research staff and a student here in AXI. I work at um, uh, the UK Atomic Energy Authority um, and in an organisation called RACE which stands for Remote applications in challenging environments. I started in 2002 as a student for our um, MSc degree, um, Advanced Control and Systems Engineering, where um, I did my project with uh, Professor Owens in uh, iterative uh, control. It is the best control department in, in the UK. It started off very small, eight, eight members of staff, and now it's much larger and um, doing much better. I've, it's nice to be part of it. Well, uh, from being a research student, I then joined the academic staff in the department uh, in 1971, just before I finished my PhD, and worked through up to a senior lecturer um, there, and then up to the University of Durham as Professor of Engineering, and from Engineering in Durham down to Vice-Chancellorship at Brunel University, and then from there to Vice-Chancellorship at Birmingham University. I was here, um, I first I graduated with my first degree in 1996 and I was a member of staff up to 2007, so I've been 11 years at Rolls-Royce now. And um, When I left Sheffield, I did join industry um, for about three years, I worked for a company called Bechtel, uh, which is a major petrochemical construction company, as, and I worked there as a control systems engineer. The advantage of working in a subject like control in a department like AXI is that um, you're not dealing with a, a single line of research. People working in the department, uh, particularly when I was head of department, they were in bio, they were in Rolls-Royce UTC, they were in theoretical work. You've got a wide range of interests which is, is a good thing for any academic, but in some areas people tend to focus rather narrowly and it actually doesn't do that. It opened my mind to many things. It's given me access to um, big industrial projects, um, huge amounts of learning from um, industrial requirements and since I've left the department, the department systems element has still shaped the roles that I've gone into in the company. So it's still guiding the work that I'm doing now and all the experience that I'm getting. So I did, I went back to do an MSc originally, or an MPhil orig originally. Um, I met Mike in London, Mike Sterling, and um, uh, it became a PhD. Uh, and then I got a grant, and then I became a lecturer. So thank you very much, Control Systems Department. It was a brilliant start. I, I loved it so much. Uh, needless to say, um, AXI has a path, uh, um, a very nice uh, career support for me, um, from um, MSc to PhD student postdoctoral research and lecture in them up until uh, today. Uh, yes, well it was absolutely critical in my career, a, a time that I really, really enjoyed. Um, research was relaxed and we could research pretty well what we liked, but it was a great time. So I think for me, uh, I would do exactly the same thing again. I would come through the same department and do the same research topics and I owe a lot to the department.